Hey everyone, in this guitar lesson we are looking at the intro to Paradise City by Guns N' Roses. This song was requested in the comments and we're going to look into how to play it. This track is half a step down, so what this means is we need to tune each string half a step down. So your E will be D sharp, your A will be G sharp, etc, etc. Now this intro contains some common chords that we actually know. It revolves around a G chord and then there's also a C chord in it. We're going to look into how to play the extra intricacies that Slash adds in. So we're going to start off with looking at the tone for this track. So I'm using my middle pickup on my guitar and then it's going straight into my Yamaha TH5 amp which is here. So the settings that I'm using, I'm on Brit High. So this is a British distortion, but I've got the gain turned all the way down. So it's only at a quarter. Okay, and then in terms of effects, I've got some chorus on it and I've also got some delay and reverb. Slash famously uses a Les Paul, which is typically a warmer sounding guitar. So this is why I'm using the middle pickup on my guitar. You could try and get away with using the neck pickup as well. You can add more gain to what I've got. You just need to be careful that you don't make the notes muddy because there's too much distortion on it. So I've got a little bit of a cleaner sound just for this guitar lesson. So it starts off with our G major chord. Now this is a slightly different way to how we normally play it. We're gonna place our second finger on the second fret of the A string, our third finger on the third fret of the low E string, and then our little finger on the third fret of the high E string. We'll strum all the strings. So the reason why we're playing it with this particular fingering is because our next chord is a C major chord and it just makes the transition easier. What we're gonna do is we're gonna strum this chord. And then we have got a picking pattern. So for this picking pattern, it involves the high E, the B and the G string. The only finger we need to keep held down is our little finger on the third fret of the high E. Our other three fingers can prepare for our C major chord, but let's first go through this picking pattern. So we're gonna pick the high E string with a down pick. And then we're gonna go up on the B, down on the G. Okay, so. And then we're gonna repeat that again. And then on the third time, we're gonna repeat it, but add a B on the end. Okay, so it'll be E, B, G, E, B, G. Slight pause and then E, B, G, B. So for consistency of alternate picking, that B string will be a up pick. So the important thing for these picking patterns, it threw me off slightly, is after the second time you do the picking pattern, the third time, there's a slight gap in between. So it's like this. Little pause and then, okay. Pause. And that kind of followed through on each bar. So for this intro, we're gonna go through bar by bar, okay? And the bars generally revolve around one chord and then a picking pattern, but there's some slight intricacies that Slash adds that we're also gonna look at. So this first bar is fairly straightforward. So strum, then our picking pattern. Okay, and then it moves to our second bar, which revolves around a C major chord. So what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna get our fingers ready for our C major shape. Keep your little finger down on the third fret of the high E, because that's gonna be used for our picking later on. And what we're looking to do is you can either pick the open D string and hammer on to the second fret D, or what you can do is almost strum most of the C major chord. So we'll strum our D, the G, and the B string. Okay, so our first finger's on the first fret of the B string. And then hammer on to the second fret D. I'd say that's probably more realistic to the track, but you can do it either way. It can be just a single note pick or a little bit of a chord. Okay, so either way you wanna do it, you wanna hammer on to the second fret D. Then we want to use our third finger on the third fret of the A string. And then we're going to do another picking pattern, which is similar to our first bar. So we go 
A B J A B J Pause A B J B So the bar sounds like this So that third fret A comes quite quickly after you hammer on to the D string. And then once more. So let's put our two bars together really slow. One, two, three, four. So as you can see for my hammer on for the C chord, I hammer it on first and then place my third finger on the third fret of the A to then pick it. And then my little finger is obviously rooted on the third fret of the high E string. Now as you can tell so far, I'm slowing all of this down. The track tempo is fairly quick, but what I recommend you do is really learn the chord changes and the picking pattern at a slow tempo and then build it up to the track tempo. So let's move on to our third bar. So what we're essentially playing for our third bar is we're moving our second and third finger down a string. Okay, but rather than just play that, we're hammering on again. So what we're looking to do is hammer on with our second and our third finger. So the second fret G and third fret D. Okay, and again. So this is probably the hardest chord to hammer on and keep it clean because it's easy to mute this B string that we're not using to hammer on. Okay, and then once we hammer on, we're picking the G string. And we've got a little finger down on the third fret of our high E again. We're gonna pick the E, B, G, B. So it only does it once on this bar, okay, for this chord. Again, that second fret G comes quite quickly after we hammer on. And then it moves back into our C major hammer on, exactly the same as what we played in the other bar. Okay, so we're hammering on. Little finger down, and then we're picking the high E, B, G, and B. Okay, so this bar is essentially split in half. So we've got. This bar is probably one of the hardest because we're skipping strings quite a lot. Okay, so really focus on doing it slowly and then building up to speed. So the same as bar two, when we hammer on to our D string for our C chord, that third fret A comes quite quick. Awesome, so well done so far. It's a pretty tricky track. We're three bars down, we got one bar left, okay? And the one bar, luckily, it goes back to our G major. So we do one down strum, but this time we're gonna pick a D string. Then we're gonna pick our G picking pattern again. So that's high E, B, G, high E, B. Okay, so we go full chord, D, high E, B, G, high E, B. And once more, one, two, three, four. And then there is a slight blues lick to finish off the riff. So it sounds like this, slowed down. So what this is, is we're using our second finger for our hammer-ons. So we're gonna pick the open G string and hammer on to the second fret. Then we're gonna pick the B, and then let go and pick the G. Okay, so like this. And then we're gonna to go to our D string. We're gonna pick an open D string, hammer on to the second fret of the D. 
and then just pick a G string. Okay, so it's... And again... So in context of the full bar from our G major, one, two, three, four. Awesome, so that is the whole of the intro. So that's fairly slowed down and we're gonna play through all of it at a slow tempo just to make sure you get the chord changes and get the picking pattern right. So, you with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four. So that has been the intro to Paradise City by Guns N' Roses. Important things to focus on here is your right-handed picking and also making sure that your hammer-ons for the chords are very clear and don't mute any of the other notes. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you enjoyed it, click the like button, click the subscribe and click the bell and you'll be notified each week when I upload a guitar lesson.